Every year for the past 35 years, Palm Beach hosts an international boat show which features more than $1.2 billion worth of yachts and accessories. So in this video, my sister Selena and I embarked on a very last minute flight to Florida for the launch of Navier self-driving zero emission boats that my friends Sam Preeti and Rio are building. So we are currently heading over to the airport and we're gonna head over to Miami today. We're gonna get in probably around 10, 10 p.m. ish and then the boat show is tomorrow. So I will see you then. We got our bags checked in. What time is it, Nins? How are we doing on time? We're a little late, but I think we'll be okay. Our flight is at 3.05. It is currently 2.18. So we have time. We just gotta maybe run a little bit, but we still gotta get through security. Okay, we have just arrived in Miami. I think it is about 1 a.m. right now. We are about to go get our bags from the baggage claim and head over to our Airbnb. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we have just arrived to our Airbnb. It's like 2.15 a.m. right now. So I'm gonna get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. All right guys, so it is 3 p.m. currently and we are finally heading over to West Palm Beach to the boat show. We had a very late night, of course. We got in pretty late and probably went to bed around 3 a.m. Uh, so we slept in a bit and now we're heading on over. Our Uber is here and let's go. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. You were thinking? Yes. Okay, so we have just arrived at the boat show and a lot of boots. <laughs> yeah. To check out. So let's go. Let's go check them all out. Feel fancy or whatnot. <laughs> What do you think of all these boats? This is your first time at a boat show, isn't it? I don't know, I haven't... You know, I gotta see what I like before I buy. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be buying any boats today. No, no, definitely not. <laughs> but this is our first time at a boat show, so there's a lot of boats, a lot of yachts here. Definitely not used to seeing this okay, many Okay, so do you know where boats, the... Where's the Navier, though? Where we are the... on the hunt currently for the Navier booth. So we can meet up with Rio and Sempriti. So Bubby, what do you think of which is your favorite boat? Well, we just got here, so I don't know if I have a favorite yet. <laughs> Thinking it will be Navi here. <laughs> <laughs> there is definitely a lot of people here for sure, but uh, to keep things safe at the show, they do take your temperature at the beginning, right? Yeah. Do you know what, what exactly does that like do? I don't know, just make sure you don't have a fever. Make sure, yeah. So when you enter 
they do check your temperature when you arrive, make sure you don't have a fever. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of people here. Luckily, people are trying to get more vaccinated and you know, that's why things are opening back up again. But of course, safety first. So this guy is currently flying, flying on top of the water. Water flying? He's water flying. <laughs> I actually don't know the correct term for what he's doing, but it looks pretty cool, okay. pretty fun. Whoa, he just did a flip. He missed it. He just did a flip. Do it again, sir. That was pretty cool, so now we are off. He's gonna find Navier still. Still haven't found still the dude yet. I, I texted them but they have not responded yet, so. Yes. We have found not the air, we have found food. Hi. Hi, I'm Selena. Yeah, I'm her sister. Give me the pitch. Yeah, yeah, it's a hydrofoil all electric bottle. Yeah. The big innovation here is it uh, runs on hydrofoil, so it actually uh -huh. flies over the surface of the water. Yeah. Uh, which makes it 90% more efficient than a traditional boat, uh, which gives it some pretty compelling range mm -hmm. out of the electric. Uh, but it also makes it extremely comfortable yeah. because it's. Uh, Flying above the surface, so you don't pound up and down in choppy conditions the same way you would. Yeah, I don't even know how that works. Um, but that's really cool. Kind of. So you have yeah. all these wings under the water. Oh. And okay. basically, once you hit a certain speed, those actually uh, lift you up. Yeah. Is, uh, pretty seriously yeah. You know, main specs are it's uh, about 75 nautical miles mm -hmm. out of a charge of 20 knots. And uh, it also has some fun, uh, fun features. It's really easy to dock, it's just a good mm -hmm. Advanced autopilot. Cool. The sustainability is such a big part of this. Yeah, right? I mean, yeah exactly. The exactly. whole point is like, I personally want people to go out and enjoy the ocean more, and I don't think that enjoying nature and technology should be a conflict with each other. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. How can you develop things that are technology like and sustainable and go out, you know, something that integrates into the nature, right? And harmony. So it's a big part of it, and every material choice we made, uh, you know, where we build our ship, all of this is going to be so driven by, you know, the yeah, yeah, it will be. I mean, for the next generation, we need, we need some, we need this. Yeah. <laughs> So after visiting Rio and Preeti for a bit at their booth, my sister and I went off to explore some of the mega yachts at the show. I don't wanna stay here, no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind of hopes now. Liberty's on my mind. We've taken off, we've left the ground. Yeah. Are going on the patient's boat. <laughs> This might be one of my first Here, let's times take photo. in an actual yacht like this. I know. I mean, I've been in like I've some boats, yeah, you know, no. stuff like that, but I don't I'm think I've ever, sure been ever been in a yacht. In a yacht. In a yacht yacht, so. Yeah, let's take selfie, mirror selfie. Time for selfies. <laughs> mirror self. So, I'm gonna show you around in this yacht. It's called the Patience Yacht. There are so many different yachts and boats here. 
I think this is the mega yacht section, but our friends Semprete and Rio said, go check out those boats. And now we are inside of one. So we're gonna show you around, give you a quick little tour so you can see what these boats look like. It actually, I mean, it feels like I'm inside of a, a house, right? Like a home. Yeah. It's very nice, very nice. So here, I'm assuming this is the master bedroom area. You have this bed here and mirror Interest. you have you know a bathroom and you have you know you can open up here and all of that you come this direction you have another bathroom and a tub going on here which is very interesting and yeah then you have this i'm assuming this is all the motors See behind how that works and you have stairs that's going to take you all the way up so pretty cool if you ask me so let's keep exploring this boat she's busy taking some boat selfies right now so <laughs> you can't even tell you know. I'm in a boat <laughs> so we have entered the kitchen area you have a tv on this side let's take a look tv um, i'm assuming this is the the fridge. Yep. <laughs> I'm missing the fridge. Okay. Going down to Alright guys, so we are at day two of the boat show here in Florida and we are finally going to interview Rio and Priti to hear the story and vision behind Navier, the boat that they are creating. So they are in a booth right next to us, so we're going to go head over and find them. Hi everyone, sorry if it is a bit loud here at the show, but I am here with Sampriti. She is the co-founder and CEO of Navier, and I'm really excited for you to meet her today. Sampriti, can you please give us a rundown of who you are, your academic experience, previous experience, and what you bring to this project? Awesome, yeah. So I'm Sampriti, I'm one of the co-founders of Navier, and my background is, you know, I'm an engineer and a builder by heart, so um, my way of you know getting into this project has been I've been fascinated by the oceans. Uh, I used to be an aerospace engineer a long time ago. Um, you know, worked on autonomous flight control with NASA. Uh, but then, while at MIT, where I did my PhD, I started working on underwater drones, and that's when I, you know, got really into understanding the ocean, like the huge 75 percent of the world that we know so little about. And I feel convinced that while people are looking at outer space, including myself, was, there's a huge frontier right in our backyard, we still know little about. There's a huge economic opportunity and a disruption that's possible there. And that really got me into exploring the maritime domain. Now, during, throughout my, you know, graduate school career, I've spent a lot of time on the water, being a lot on the boat, and realized, you know, the big vision is like, you know, enabling ubiquitous autonomous fleets on the water. But I realized that it really starts near coastal, near to the home, near to the land. And that's what led me to start Navier along with my co-founder, you know, classmate. Rio. So we got started about you know last year in May. Wow. Yeah, it's been pretty awesome. So almost a full year. Almost. Getting started on the project. That's amazing. So in layman's terms, how exactly does that mean? So the what well, Navier we are essentially building the platform, right? The hull and the coil. That's really the invention is there. And then on the other side is the control and the autonomy technology and software. So the works a little bit if you can think about planes. So what happens is that. As the boat reaches a certain speed, mm -hmm. just like you know, in this case, 18 knots, 
it takes over like it flies it lifts off and when it lifts off what happens is that if you're in the air it decreases the net wetted area that reduces the drag and that's why it is so efficient because instead of pulling you know pushing water you're essentially going through air so the resistance the drag is much less that's what gives it so much increase in efficiency and now since you are over the water right in our case you can deal with about four feet of swell that means you don't have the bumpy rise which you might have experienced in choppy water in the bay or elsewhere so the feeling is almost like you know being in a jet plane yeah Cool. All right, hey everyone. So I am now back in LA and it's been about two weeks since the boat show and I just wanted to close out this video by sharing some final thoughts on Navier. So I am definitely very excited about this boat because I think it is a huge opportunity to really transform city infrastructure and public transportation and move towards sustainable development, especially if governments begin implementing this into our transportation systems. So my sister is actually going to be studying sustainable development at Berkeley for her master's and that's why she was very excited to come on this trip with me. But she is back home in Sacramento right now so I asked if she would be able to share some of her final thoughts. So I'm going to go ahead and give her a call right now. Hey Nims. Hey, what's up? Hey, okay, so I'm filming an outro for our video on Navier. Would you be able to share some final thoughts on the boat in terms of sustainability? Yeah, sure. Um, I think uh, in terms of sustainability, the fact that it's zero emissions and clean energy is really huge and it really has the potential to transform the public transportation industry. I love public transportation. When I was living in DC, I would be taking a bus and the metro system, and even when I'm visiting other cities, taking the ferry. And having a boat that is clean energy can really contribute to the sustainable future of cities. So I really enjoyed meeting Sam Preeti in Rio, and I'm excited for what the future holds with Navier. Yeah, I agree. I'm so excited too, and I'm curious to hear what other people think about it as well. Yeah, me too. All right, thanks, Nins. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, guys, so there you have it, the Navier boat. Will it be the future of transportation? Can you imagine taking a robo-taxi to work in the mornings rather than having to deal with a bunch of traffic? What are your thoughts on Navier? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you wanna learn more about Navier and the articles that Sempreti and Rio have been featured in, I'm going to leave all that information in the description below. And if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't yet. This channel is where I share stories from all sorts of different people doing cool things. So if you like that, then also make sure to turn on your notification bell so you get notified of every time I upload next. And if you're doing something cool, then let me know. I'd love to share your story. I'll leave a link for that in the description box as well. So that's gonna be it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.